welcome to Rocket League's Classic Cinema with your host, Simon Smith. Good evening. My name is Simon, and it is my great pleasure to present to you the story of Platt, a young egg trying to solo queue life. It's the emotional tale of a quest for revenge, the desire for redemption, and the eventual realization that the people and mechanics he thought were useless might be just what he needed all along. You really think demoing is easy? Uh, yeah. Any Neanderthal could do it. You lie like a no-legged dog. All right, Billy. I think we need to educate him. Absolutely Yeehaw! riveting. How the Oscars overlooked this, I'll never know. Here at Rocket League Classic Cinema, we appreciate a film that makes you feel and makes you think, while still being brave enough to suggest that there might be a little bit of plat in every one of us. Enjoy. I discovered a new mechanic. Watch! <laughs> we better go tell everyone. You're getting better every day, son. You'll beat me in no time. Yeah, right. You're so good. I'll never beat you. How about this? If you score on me, we'll get ice cream. Okay. Ah! <laughs> son. You have to turn off camera shake. Oh man, I really wanted ice cream. I'll give you one more chance, but this time try boosting and flipping into it. Uh, okay. I'll try it, but I don't think I can do it. I know you can, son. I believe in you. <laughs> you rascal. Nice shot. I knew you could do it. Boosting and flipping into it? I didn't know you invented a mechanic also. Guess it runs in the family. Now let's go get that ice. You shouldn't be here, Bill. You know this is off limits for you. Get behind me, Platt. Oh, hello, C-Block. Not playing solo standard today? No one wants to team up with Captain Whiffs over here. <laughs> we were just leaving. You know this is off limits for you. Now you're going to pay. <laughs> um, that was kind of weird. Maybe if you didn't sound so weird when you laugh, you'd find teammates. Platt, quiet. Sorry, like I said. We're leaving. You should have left earlier. We can talk this through. Slow down. Wait. Dad, watch out. Platt, I'll always love you. No. Dad. <laughs> Hope you learned your lesson, kid. Never come here again. So, I waited there all night, waiting for him to respawn, and he never did. So wait, your name is Platt? I always thought it was your rank. That's what you got out of that? Well, it's just confusing. Like, why would your parents name you after a middle tier rank? Why not, like, GC or something? It was the top rank at the time. I just spilled my guts, and this is what you care about? Sorry, sorry, you're right. That's really sad, Platt. <laughs> but did you really think you invented jumping? <laughs> I was bronze! I didn't realize I was in the presence of such a great innovator. <laughs> Shut it, champ. <laughs> Sorry. All right, please continue. Anyway, from that moment, I vowed to get revenge and defeat C-Block. And now, my opportunity has finally come. They really need to hire someone who can name things better. First, supersonic acrobatic rocket powered bow cars, then supersonic legend. Now this? Like, really? No one noticed the acronym? C-Block has won that tournament five years in a row. I'm finally ready to beat him and take him down to honor my family. That's the biggest double tournament of the summer. There's always big names there. Who are you going to team up with? Doesn't matter. I'm going to solo queue and prove that I'm better than him. 
Solo queue. Whew, brave soul. Oh, dude, I'll be able to meet some pros and get an autograph. Then tomorrow, after I beat him, I'll banish him to the land of bad rotations and toxic teammates to live forever. I think it's cruel and unusual punishment to make him play in the Platinum ranks with you. Hello and welcome to day one of the 2020 Supersonic Hometown Invitational Tournament. I am your host, William Whiff, alongside co-host, making his announcing debut, Stu Kin Silver. How are you doing, Stu? Really happy you're here to be, Will. I'm sorry, I'm here to be Will. I'm, I'm Stu, and I'm here, and I'm happy. So if this is anyone's first time watching this tournament, here is a breakdown. This is a three-day tournament that takes place over three months. Each win gets you a point. Points are then added up. You then take half those points and multiply it by seven. The other half you apply to the world standings and then take your world rank and divide it by 15. That number then gets added to your tournament score. And then you take 15% um, of the past tournament and then, uh, and then you... Um, you know what? It's really simple. Just trust us. Just remember, a win is good. Will right you are. Right, you are Will. You are Will and you are right. This year we have two big stories. The first one is can C Block win his fifth title in a row? And newcomer Platt. Wait, is is that his name or rank? Both? That's confusing. Anyway, Stu, who are you giving the early edge to this year? Uh, you know, probably I think whoever gets the most scores might win the game. Very astute, Stu. The first match is about to begin between Team Platt and Team Boomer. I do not get this tournament. There's a clause about taking the numerical value of your mother's maiden name and adding it to your score? Like, what is that? Who cares? I just need to win. This is gonna be easy. Oh, here comes your teammate, Scout. Hey, I'm gonna go see if I can find a pro player. See ya. Oh, um, okay. Bye, I guess. Hey, Scout, over here. Hey, you plat, this is gonna be fun. I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to win. Well, it's a game, so we should have a little fun. No one has fun playing this game. I do. So, now, what's the scoop on our first team? Alright, I did some reconnaissance. Boomer, he likes to hit it hard. Mitty spends a lot of time at center field waiting for a pass. Seems a little on the nose, but okay. Let's go. The players are getting on the field. This first round matchup is going to be a good one. This should be some good luck. Rocket. Damn. Ah, uh, sure. Man, I hope Platt doesn't screw this up. Here we go. I got it. Take the shot. Yeah, I know. I just said. Take the shot. I, I'm the diagonal. Of course I'm going for it. Oh, crap. Great first shot by Platt. And boom goes the dynamite. Yes! This is gonna be so easy. Whoa, nice. Wait, is that Squashy over there? Nice shot, Platt! What a save! I, I got, got it. it! Take the Take shot! shot. Take, Take the, the shot. shot! Oh, bad team bump. Some miscommunication on team Platt. That should have, Dave, come, Dave, they should have committed, they should have communicated better. Dude, come on. It's not my fault. Maybe I didn't notice me. Squashy, look at me, over here. Dang, tied. Okay, I guess I'll have to do it all myself. Oh, bad miss. Ah, shoot. Another miss by Platt. That was close, but no cigar. Dang it. Son of a gun. Ah, come on. More whiffs coming from Team Platt. He really should have scored that one. Oh, that was a bad rotation. Oh, bad team bump by Platt. Platt's way out of position. Platt's really letting his team down right now. And that will do it! 
No! Dang it! Big 7-1 win by Team Boomer. Let's go down to the field and hear from Boomer himself. Boomer, great win today. What gave your team the edge? Uh, yeah, uh, we just uh, hit it hard, and that was our game plan, and uh, we, we did it. Great team performance. You're coming at it. Now, you saying what? You're going to say what now? What? Uh, yeah, uh, this means uh, we can really hit the ball really hard some more. I love hitting the ball hard and playing as a team. What do you think of your next matchup against Team Slider? Uh, we're just going to stick to the game plan and uh, hit it hard. We just keep playing as a team. Anything else you want to add that's not about hitting it hard or team play? Uh, yeah, I think my, uh, my teammate did a great job hitting it hard. Just going to keep doing that. Okay. Thanks, Boomer. Good luck with the rest of the tournament. Man, he is really insightful. We could all learn a lot from him. Now looking at Team Platt. Really bad day for Platt. Seems like every goal was his fault. I'm sure he's not happy with his own performance, but he has no one to blame but himself. I cannot express how much we can entirely blame Platt for his team going out in the first round. 100% his fault. Stupid teammate. Oh, 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 sorry. Those unskippable ads just put me right out sometimes. Well, without further ado, let's get right back into the story of Platt on Rocket League Classic Cinema. Can you believe that young man invented jumping? It's amazing! Dude, what a bummer! I can't believe I lost. Yeah, man, that sucks. Also, I couldn't find a single pro to notice me and give me an autograph. But, uh, yeah, your thing sucks too. My teammate was so bad! Uh, what? You played like a blind person! Whoa, you didn't see me here? You jerk. You're a jerk. Oh my gosh, I'm You're so sorry. Jerk. No way. My teammate missed so many saves and didn't even score. I had way more points. He was worse than you. He couldn't even get 75 points. Platt, how many times? Points don't mean anything. You play like a bot out there. My emotions are hurt. My feelings ah, are oh, hurt. Oh, oh no, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. How does that keep happening? I played great. I don't know what you're talking about. No, you didn't. You constantly passed it to the other team. You're as dumb as a... You're as dumb as a rock! Hmm, kind of expected a rock to show up. Wow! You didn't anticipate the high probability that a sedimentary life form would appear behind you? How could you be so dense? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm sorry! Name one thing I did wrong. Well, to start, how would you say take the shot when it's clear he's gonna go for it? You think that's why we lost? No, it's just annoying is all. Like, why bother? Also, you cut rotations, didn't demo a single person, and whiffed on so many shots. So what? I was just playing fast. And I didn't whiff, I was faking. Faking? When the net was wide open? With no one around? And it would have been an easy goal? It's called strategy. Okay, sure, Platt. I'm just saying you did a lot wrong. You did this to yourself. Maybe you're right. I couldn't get revenge for my family. I'm a failure. It's tough all around. I didn't get my autograph. Bad day for both of us. Never had a family, and this was my one shot to feel like I could redeem them, revive what I lost all those years ago. And I've ruined it. I'm not sure what to do now. I guess I'll just give up. Well, there's always a second day of the tournament. It's only a month away. I'm just not good enough. I may know some people that can help. You gotta play next month. I don't know. I mean, who do you know that could help? Back when I was grinding for GC and trying to get famous, I met some people that really helped me. A guy named Mountain fixed my positioning, Sledge taught me about demos, and the dude really improved my mechanics. Okay, but none of those are about scoring goals. You need goals to win. But those things can lead to goals. Look, I've never worried about those extra useless things. More goals equals wins. Pretty simple, champ. Useless? They're like the most important parts of Rocket League. The mechanics part seems kinda cool, but the rest seem dumb. That's probably why you lost the tournament. Fine. We'll try it your way. Where can I meet these people? We'll have to go to Tokyo. It's a place called The Rooftop. It's where all the top trainers hang out. Alright, let's go then. Got nothing to lose. I'm sure they'll all be excited to meet the guy who invented jumping. <laughs> hey, I was bronze. I'm not as stupid as a bronze anymore. Really? No one heard you say that bronze players are stupid. Wow, I'm so offended. Oh my gosh, no wait, I'm sorry!
was her. No way, dude. That was not the Twitter egg. Yes, it was. And she said hi to me. Okay, sure, champ. I'm sure one of the most famous eggs said hello to you. But it... She was... <sighs> Can we do what we came here to do, please? Instead of living in this fantasy of yours? Ugh, fine. So, this is the rooftop. We'll meet some pretty important people here. Weird name. We aren't even on top of the roof. Well, kind of. It's high up and outside. I mean, this is a patio at best. Maybe a deck. A terrace even, but a roof? No way. Dude, there are rooms beneath us. It's a roof to some things. Dude, why does it even matter? Yeah, okay. I bet you also think cereal's just a type of soup. Just saying, it's a weird name. Could we please just move on? Sure. Introduce me to everyone. All right. I'll be your guide. Tip one. Don't tell them you invented the jumping mechanic. You don't want that kind of attention. Champ. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Okay, how you interact with each group is crucial to getting on good terms with these people. Ah, uh, all right. First, you get the extra game mode group. Rumble mains, hoop players, snow day mains, and lastly, drop shotters. What do you think's underneath this? Anyone got anything to break this? I need to know what's underneath this! Now onto the normal game modes, starting with ones players, by far the most socially awkward. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Damn it. Then twos mains. I really wish they had solo twos. Threes players. Yeah, bruh. I'm like so glad they got rid of solo standard. It's totally lame. Uh, there's also chaos, but they're pretty loud and obnoxious. And that about covers it. Well, all right. Who do I need to talk to? Hmm, you should probably start with Mr. Mountain. He's an expert on positioning. Ooh, an expert. Let's go talk to him. Yeah, man, go for it. I'm gonna go catch up with some friends. Good luck. Yo, Iceman! It's ice to see you! Oh, okay. I guess I'll introduce myself. Hello, Mr. Mountain. Adrian, call me Rocky. My father was Mr. Mountain. Oh, okay, uh, Rocky. I need someone to teach me positioning. Can you help me? Going in one more round when you don't think you can. That's what makes all the difference in your life. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I need your training. Every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. Right. So, can you help me? This is something you want to do. If this is something you got to do, then you got to do it. Try to fight. Meet me out down here. Who's Dan Reels? It ran the mouth. Wait, what are we doing tomorrow? Adrian, you want me? When you go in, you got a teammate. Um, okay. Thanks, I guess. Haha, <laughs> you're too cool, Iceman. So, did he say you'd help? Yeah, either that or he's doing some weird stuff with a guy named Dan Reels. Oh, I hope it's the first one. Yeah, me too. So, I gotta meet him tomorrow to get started. He used to be really good. I'm sure what he has to say is gonna help you a ton. Yeah, I just hope he doesn't make me come back eight times, try to stay way past his prime, and tell the same story with a slightly different spin. I feel like that would just be a money grab move. He'd never do that. Thanks for helping, Rocky. Platt needs a lot of work on his positioning. I still think my teammates should be here instead of me. Really, Platt? Have you ever rotated back post? Ever? That's further from the ball. Why would I do that? You gotta trust your teammates to hit it. What does that mean? What do you mean, what does that mean? Trust your teammates. Well, I know what each word means, but when you put it together, it doesn't make any sense. What? You have to rely on them to hit it. Believe they're gonna do the right thing. Trust your teammates. Listen, champ. I don't know what fairy tale land you live in, but this is Rocket League. Stop speaking nonsense. Nonsense? I can't believe you don't understand me. Rocky, can you get through to him? You gotta make sure that you're in, you gotta trust us, and then you wanna go to the camera. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Champ, why didn't you just say that? What? You understood that? Yeah, clear as day. Wait, does that mean that if my teammate is dribbling it, I shouldn't help them by hitting it really hard, away from them, towards the enemy team? Exactly. That's crazy. Two people on the ball is better than one. <sighs> and what if the ball's in the corner? I need to make sure I hit it 50 times, one inch at a time. That will get it downfield. No, you need to rotate out and trust your teammate to clear it. Back to speaking gibberish. <sighs> Rocky? Adrian, you want to make sure that you're going when you get your teammate, and then you go to get the ball. I guess that makes sense. How? You know what? Never mind. All right. You guys have some drills to do, so I'm out of here. Uh, hey, Platt. Just keep him focused. Once he breaks into semi-related inspirational quotes, there's no stopping him. As long as he doesn't make me drink egg yolks. I'll be fine, champ. Glad that guy's gone. He was being nonsensical. I believe there's an inner power that makes winners or losers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rocky, focus up. What are the drills? First, 
we're working on positioning. Second, we're going to do some field rotations with no ball. And lastly, focused on boost management. Once you're able to boost all around without getting the hunter boost, then you're ready. How am I supposed to get boost without getting the corner or mid boost? Collecting the pads on the field. You know, they always say if you... Don't! No! The what? Pads? Yeah, the yellow circles all over the field. Those give you boost? I thought those were just decorations. You get 12 boosts from every one of them. You must use them to succeed. Only 12? But the other ones give you 100. 100 is more than 12. It's simple math. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshines and rainbows. Oh no. Rocky, hold up. It's a very mean and nasty place. I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. Rocky, stop. Don't start with the inspirational quote. You, me, or nobody's gonna hit as hard as you like. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Okay, 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 the boost pads. I'll do that, just please stop. Remember, the mind is your best muscle. Big arms can move rocks, but big words can move mountains. Hey, that was another one. I said stop. What is wrong with your brain? I stopped thinking the way other people think a long time ago. You gotta think like you think. Can we please get started? After all these quotes, you owe me that. Nobody owes nobody nothing. You owe yourself. Ugh. I guess I'll just get started. Good work, Platt. I think I'm starting to get it. You got a chance, kid. Well, you know what they say. Every once in a while, a person comes along who defies the eye, who defies logic, and fulfills an incredible dream. I don't get it. The curtains fall on tonight's installment of Rocket League Classic Cinema. I want to reassure you that this story is far from over. Yes, just by clicking here on your screen, you can continue on to episode two, which features an amazing performance by the one and only Rocket Sledge. If you enjoyed this program, please do subscribe and leave a comment below. This is Simon Smith, signing off. Good night.